Hello everybody, I am Ugame, and this little quick video is going to be about how to mod Skyrim in a way that won't absolutely destroy all of your attempts at are playing the game. Ergo, it will not crash every other second. Will it still crash on occasion? It may, but as long as you save it every now and again, you'll find that this is probably going to be the most stable way that you can mod something. So first of all, what you're going to do is download the Nexus Mod Manager, and the links for all of these are going to be in the description below, so do take a moment to click on them if you want to do it. I'm going to go through an order and tell you quickly what they do. The Nexus Mod Manager allows you to download and install mods in an easy-to-do fashion. Now, you can also do that from the Steam Workshop. You can even do it direct in a manual sense if you wish. This is by far the easiest one and gives you the most variance in terms of the mod available. Second we have Loot, the load order optimization tool which does as it says on the tin. It actually orders everything in the right way. Some mods have to be loaded before others and Loot does all of that work for you in a way that I found to be absolutely fantastic. Next we're going to have a look at TES5 Edit. This can also be used for Fallout, Fallout 4 etc but I use it most for Skyrim. This one just runs the load so we can actually just ensure that everything is working as it should. It also highlights which things are broken. If, for example, you load something in the wrong place, um, it tells you which one is having an issue then. Rye bash we're going to use to make a bashed patch. And all that does is it goes through and it grabs all the mods that it can and puts it into one easier to organize folder or file. Then we're going to generate finish for users. Um, that's to get the new animations. And last but not least, we run it from SKSE. So that's a Skyrim script extender. And that's going to help us um, actually run it and utilize all of the mods as well. So pretty easy. Let's load up Nexus Mod Manager whilst we're actually doing this. And I'll show you what we've got installed. Um, now, as a proper rule of thumb, if you're downloading mods, if they are in the same space, i.e. one of them has changed the weather and you've downloaded another one that changes the weather, Please, please make sure you read the notes in terms of conflictions. The authors are really, really good at having that up there. Um, so we need to make sure uh, that you do that. All right, just double check that there's no conflictions that are known about. But apart from that, you should be relatively OK. And as you can see, I've got a lot of mods installed here, even a few more knocking around on the other side there as well. Once all of these have been installed, let's say you found the ones you want. And literally, all you need to do is just click on them uh, and then update them if you wish. And you can select multiple ones if you want to hold down the control key as well. Then you can select multiples. It's all very easy, nice and easy to do. And then you can just install them. Now, when they're all installed and you're happy with them, the next thing we're going to do is run loot. So once that actually loads up, it's going to check all of the different files in the different order that they're supposed to be in and then do all the legwork for us. I just click that button up there. It sorts the load order. It changes stuff if it needs to, if it doesn't need to change anything. No worries, it won't. So this hasn't changed anything. You can tell that because usually there's a button here that says apply that changes the load order. So I'm happy with that. Next, I load up TES5 edit and we just run that through. Now, as you can see, this is loading, loading it line by line. So if it came into a um, some sort of issue, one of the uh, mods you've put in place isn't working well, for example, this one here, it would crash at this point, but you'd know which mod it was that the problem with. Nine times out of ten, it's because you've installed a patch or something that you don't have the other um, the other mod downloaded for. So it gets all confused and gets a bit weirded out by that. On a second note here, I found that the most stable games are ones that load in under 40 seconds. We're going to be a bit over on this particular build, I think. But it just seems to be the volume of, of how many different mods you've got. So it's not really how many different ones you've got. So one of them could be huge and, and take ages to load or uh, affect many aspects in the game. For example, I've got one here, which is a complete cooking and alchemy overhaul. Really, really cool. Very, very fun. Kind of hugely expands the alchemy side of things and makes it very enjoyable. But that one's there has loaded in 50 seconds. So not the quickest one, but it got way through to the finish. And I'm happy with that. So last but not least, what we're going to do is going to get that rye bash up. It is Rye Bash, I think. It's not Wire Bash, is it? Rye? Yeah, I'd say Rye. And all we're going to do is scroll down here to the bit that says Bash Patch. And we right click and we rebuild the patch. So it's going to grab all of these things that can be merged together and it's just going to put them into one place for us. Nice and easy. This takes a little bit of time, so I'm going to save you guys my pain and skip to the end. All right, so there we have it. It's done the bash patch for us. It's given us this little report, which you can read through if you so desire, and you can get into that there. But that's done. That's its work done. 
So last but not least, just run loot one more time because we've smashed a load of uh, mods together. So maybe some of them could be moved around, maybe they can't, maybe there's need to. Who knows or dares to dream? Loot knows or dares to dream and does nothing there, which is good. Last but not least, going to run this one last time, TS5 edit, and this is just going to make sure that everything's in the right order, that nothing's conflicting, that it isn't going to come into something that makes Skyrim just go, no, mods, no, bad. And we're going to avoid that one. Well, as best we can. Um, see if this one's going to come into 50. I think the last load was 50. I think it perhaps may. Let's find out. Now we are finished at 46, so nothing too crazy. But that is it. I have installed God knows how many uh, mods there. Loads of them. I absolutely love modding Skyrims. There's a load of them in place there. Managed to generate all those things together. Um, merge them where we could. We've got the load order all correct as well. Last but not least, I'm just going to run this one in case there's some animations that have changed in the game. Really worth doing. There's quite a few mods I've got in there. I've got realistic needs and diseases. I've got bathing in Skyrim. They need that. That's all good to go. So now we can kick off. Enjoy yourself, wrap up warm, I'll see you in Skyrim.